During the three years working at the flower factory, Sister Quan Jin received an express letter one day from her eldest son in his hometown of Wuki. It said in the letter that her 10-year-old grandson had been suffering from meningitis for 10 days, and the medicine had been ineffective. He was now in a coma, and his life was on the verge of death, so he asked his mother to hurry back. After hearing the news, the sister immediately went to invite a statue of the three saints and a copy of the Amitabha Sutra, also took a wooden fish and a chime, and hurried back to her hometown. It was already dusk when she got home. She saw a doctor treating her grandson, and her grandson was in extreme danger, with constant cramps in his hands and feet. The doctor shook his head and said, What a pity, he grows so big and suffers such mishap, with a 40 degree fever and cramps. It's very hard to rescue this little life. At most, it will be delayed until early the next morning. Compared to the nearby boy surnamed Chen, although he also suffers from meningitis, his fever is only 38 degrees, and no cramp. It gives him a better chance of being cured. After the doctor said that, he left. Although hearing the doctor's word, Quan Jin was not discouraged. Immediately, she hung up the statues of the three saints, burned incense and lighted candles, recited a volume of the Amitabha Sutra, and kept chanting the holy name of Amitabha. She also asked his son and daughter-in-law, three people, to take turns reciting. The elder was experienced, and when she saw that her grandson's mouth and nose were dry, she recited the Great Compassion Mantra to have a cup of water and poured it into the boy's mouth, and his lips immediately got moisturized. The most critical thing to recite the Buddha's name is concentration. If you can concentrate, anyone can get response. When the three of them were reciting until midnight, the daughter-in-law suddenly called her mother-in-law. And said, when I closed my eyes and recited the Buddha's name, I saw three tall Buddhas in the room. But when I opened my eyes, it was gone. After closing my eyes, it appeared again. It was incredible. Have you seen it? The sister said, that's great. Maybe the boy can be saved. Because of your devotion to the Buddha and your earnestness in the prayer, you had spiritual intersection and got responded. Look, he has stopped cramping now. Let's continue to recite sincerely. The mother, son, and daughter-in-law, three people desperately prayed the Buddha. During the night, the sound of the Buddha did not stop. The Buddha really paid off for their hard work. By daybreak, the patient had sweated, the fever had subsided, his eyes could turn, and his limbs could move. Suddenly, he called out Grandma. At this time, the child's grandmother and parents cheered, and they were so moved that they almost shed tears. At that moment, the doctor suddenly came, looking at this child carefully, and joyfully said, Congratulations! This child is no longer in danger and is more than half recovered. It's a miracle. The severely ill patient has recovered from danger. Instead, the nearby patient surnamed Chen, who had mild symptoms, died. I was just invited by them to issue a death certificate. According to his parents, he became ill in the middle of the night and died soon afterwards, so I stopped by to see your child. Sister told me, my eldest grandson was luckily reborn solely by virtue of the blessings from Buddhas. So far, the child is mentally normal, with normal facial features and limbs. But what was puzzling was why among the three of us, only my daughter-in-law saw the Buddha manifesting but I and my son did not. After hearing this, I explained to her, because you were busy reciting the great compassion mantra and pouring it into the patient's mouth drop by drop, your mind was not focused on the Buddha. As for your eldest son, because he has never heard of the Pure Land Dharma, he doesn't know the benefits of reciting the Buddha's name. He only chanted it with his mouth, and his mind was distracted, so he couldn't see it. Your daughter-in-law listened to your words and was eager to save her son. She kept chanting till her heart was in harmony with the Buddha, and her mind was not distracted. It was like the moon reflecting its image in the calm water. Because of her pious heart, she was spared the pain of losing her son. This is another fact that Sister Kwan Jin taught her daughter-in-law to recite Buddha's name and reverse her karma.